Hey everybody, it's Brenda with Queen Bee RV. Dana with Empower RV. We are back here at the Big Red Schoolhouse in Athens, Texas at the National RV Training Academy, bringing you another episode of 52 Ways to Empower Women RVers. We have classes going on in the background, so just bear with us as we walk right. through this. But we're talking today all about tires. So tires are one of the most important things we talk about um, in our classes in 52 Ways, and we want to bring you some of the things that we share with our, um, our viewers. Okay, and our students in our workshops, they love this part. Yes. I will start by telling you, I know a tire blowout is really a fear that a lot of the women students mm. who come to us have before they even come there, even if they haven't had one. I've right. had two blowouts on my Class C motorhome and they are no fun. They're never at a great time. Oh, never. It's scary as you know what, yeah. whenever it happens, it's a really loud noise. And I was not prepared. And I will tell you the reason that I had those blowouts is something we're gonna share with you. It's because I thought, my husband and I thought my tires looked good right. and that they were in good shape, but they were not. And we'll, we'll share with you why. So go ahead. This is a true case of knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. When you have the knowledge and understand all the components that bring a safe tire to the camper, you're gonna feel so much more secure on the road. Exactly, so exactly. One of the things okay. I wanna talk about. You got some tools. A couple of tools, yeah, a couple of tools we want to share. This is super important. This is a tire pressure gauge. We use these in our inspector um, classes mm -hmm. and you need to have one of these. If you don't, be sure you pick one up. Your tires need to be checked both on your tow vehicle and your camper um, at cold pressures. So that means when you are at the campgrounds, um, before you get up to leave on pack, um, you know, pack up day, you're gonna check those tire pressures and make some adjustments while the tires are cold. Every single time, some people think, oh, I did them once this week. Yep. You do it every time. You do it before you leave your home on that first camping right. trip. You do it before you leave that camping trip back home every single time because you just, if you've done some traveling in between, you never know if you backed over right. a nail in the campground. Right. So Anything it's super important to check those tire pressures. Okay. And now, you got something else. I have something else. So I have, um, we have an aftermarket device and it's made by Lippert Components. It's a tire pressure monitoring system. Mm -hmm. And in order to avoid having to do this regularly, um, if you have one of these systems, it actually gives you the tire pressures Bluetooth to your phone. So I just check cool. my phone before I leave but I have the Bluetooth on the phone. It doesn't have the tires pulled up because we're not near my camper. But I also have this little piece of device and this actually sits in my um, tow vehicle right up on the dashboard and it just blinks the light. And what that does is if we've installed the system, so we have the little TPMS um, where the dust caps would normally go and it's constantly monitoring the pressure of my tires and then it sends back a little green light to my dashboard if everything is good. If it detects a problem, either while you're sitting there or while you're driving, mm -hmm. this little light turns red and blinks and makes an alert sound. Didn't you have that happen? I did. I have saved myself twice using one of these. I don't know how we ever traveled without them, but mm -hmm. I have a single axle camper. So as those of you know, if you have a single axle with a blowout, super scary situation. Yeah. So this little guy has saved myself a couple of times. It alerted me that I was losing pressure. I checked my um, my app on the wind control and I, I had just run over something and I had a slow leak. So I was able to pull over. Discount tire happened to be right down the street. <laughs> so I pulled in, got it taken care of and was back on the road in five Perfect. or 10 minutes without something major happening. So, so good peace of mm, mind. Absolutely, absolutely. I love it. Well, how about we take a look at some things that we can do visually on our own tires mm -hmm. every time we're te checking that tire pressure. Then we can also take a look at the condition of the tire and try, try to extend the life of it. Just make sure we avoid any yeah. problems. So let's take a look. Yeah. Okay guys, we're back here at the tire and I wanted to point out a couple of things. This is the desk cap and this is where your tire pressure monitoring cap would go when you replace the valves, the desk caps with those valves. If you have the TPMS If you have system. a TPMS system, gotcha. which I would highly recommend. It's a great investment. Okay. Um, and then I also wanted to point out again that your PSI is determined by cold tire pressures, which means before driving. Okay. So before you head out on that camping trip or before you head home from that camping trip, before this tire starts moving, you want to check those PSI. Because the reading would be really different. Right, because you're going to build up heat inside that mm -hmm. tire as it runs. So you want to okay. check cold pressures. And then if you come to one of our events, we'll actually teach you how to find the exact PSI needed for your tire, specific to your tire and your weights as well. So right. just keep that in Good mind. Good info. So the other thing I wanted to point out is the DOT date. This is important because the manufacturers recommend five to seven years replacement. 
So we are on the side of caution in our inspections, so we do five years. And the way you find that out is through this DOT. And when you get new tires on your camper, be sure you have them put the DOT dates on the exterior, so you're not having to climb under um, the camper to read those. But this is where you would find it. I've highlighted it with a piece of chalk, the DOT right here. And then right up, just, just past it is four numbers. This particular one says 4619. That tells us that this tire was manufactured the 46th week of 2019. So you're going to add five years to that. And if you get, if you are at that date, you're going to start considering replacing this mm -hmm. tire. So mm -hmm. not only do we need to talk about age, but Brenda, tell us a little bit about what we're going to look for on these tires. So you can do a visual inspection. Every time we're doing that, the pressure reading, mm -hmm. the PSI reading, you can do a visual inspection as well. And you don't have to be a mechanic or do anything fancy. Just mm -hmm. use your eyes and take a look at the sidewalls and the tread. So the sidewalls themselves, you can see if there's any kind of cracking or feathering. The worst enemy to our tires is actually sun, sun yeah. so if you can cover them if you get tire covers yeah. no matter what when it's not in use and just sitting there mm -hmm. or whenever just cover them but look for feathering or cracking or any kind of damage on mine i saw a little bulge i was going to say the back side mm -hmm. of one of mine you can also check the tread itself and this is where i got in trouble with my blowout even if the tread looks good some people will get a little tread depth uh little device here mm -hmm. they'll put a penny in there right. or something and that is not necessarily what you're looking for. You are looking for uneven tread wear, whether it's underinflated or overinflated. Mm -hmm. You can just tell bald if that tread. Bald spots. Exactly, yeah. bald spots. So anything like that, you need to go ahead and consider getting the tires replaced. And also, it's a good idea when you do go to change them, let's go ahead and do all of them all at, the at the same, same time. time. Or six or however many you mm -hmm. have. I have two on one, so really? one gets replaced, they all get replaced. The and don't forget your spares. Oh, that's yeah, right. The spare, a lot of times on our inspection, the spare could be 10 years right, old. Right. You want to look for those same things, tread wear, sidewalk condition, PSI, everything right. on your spares. Because if you need it, you need it. You need it. That's <laughs> when you need it. So yeah. we hope this information was helpful. If you like it, give us a like and comment below. Be sure to follow us on our social media channels, 52 Ways and Counting. And we'll see you next week on another episode.